this is Vicki from Build Your Best Year. I create social media templates for busy entrepreneurs. So I had um, a customer ask me a question today and it got me to thinking that can't, even though I know Canva, Canva can be pretty confusing on how it can be used for your business. I know a lot of times as business owners, you're really looking for an outcome and all of the nitty gritty how to do it stuff uh, it just kind of goes over your head and I definitely can understand that. So I wanted to come in and answer a few questions uh, that my customer had because I thought that they were really good. So the first question is, um, how can you edit a PDF file in Canva? Or how can you uh, convert a PDF file into Canva? And so the short answer is that you cannot. Uh, you would not be able to uh, download a PDF file into Canva. So the files that you can upload into Canva are images. And so this would need to be a JPEG file or a PNG file, uh, which is like a picture file. So you can see these pictures here. I took this on my phone. I sent it to my email. I downloaded, downloaded it on my desktop and then I uploaded it here on Canva. Then you can also see these right here. These are stock photos. These are photos that I've bought. You can also get free stock photos as well. Um, so from sites like uh, Pixabay or Pexel, you can go there and you can download those onto your desktop and then you would come up here and you can upload them. Um, also, if you um, buy elements maybe from like Creative Fabrica or Creative Market or even here on Etsy, um, you could you could do that as you could you could do that as well. You can upload those files as long as they're PNG or JPEG. So for a PDF, let's say you're you want it, you're wanting to upload a planner PDF, you would have to convert that PDF file into a JPEG or a PNG file in order for you to upload it into Canva. You can go to Google and you can search PDF to JPEG or PDF to PNG. The differences between PNG and JPEG is that the PNG is going to be of higher quality. So likely it's going to be a higher uh, quality or a higher uh, file. So it's going to take up more space. Whereas a JPEG, it's not going to take up as much space because it's of lower quality. And lower quality does not always mean that it's going to look blurry. Um, so <laughs> don't be discouraged from downloading a JPEG file. Okay, so once you do that, once you go here and you can you can take a look at some of these converters. Some of them are free, some of them are not. Some of them have rules on, you know, you can do 10 and then after that you have the, you'll have to pay them. Uh, you'll have to take a look at that. But once you get done, and now you have either a JPEG file or a PNG file, you can come right into Canva and you can upload that file. So if you're uploading a, a PDF file, you converted it into the JPEG file or a PNG file. When you upload it into Canva, it's going to be its own file, which means like it's not going to be editable. It's going to be all in one piece. Let me see if I can find, um, so this right here, let me see. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so I actually uploaded this. This is a PNG file. Um, okay, so here's the PNG file. What I've done in Canva is I've opened up the template for US letter because that's the size that this is. So now that I've uploaded it, let's say I want to change this weekly task. I would not be able to change this weekly task because this is not an editable file. Um, the PDF is not an editable file. It's its own file. It's all done. It's the end product. Um, PNG and JPEG files are usually its own end product as well. Um, and you would not be able to edit those as well. But what you could do is you could get PNG files. Let me see if I can try and find one here. You could get PNG files. So let's say, let's okay, let's take this one right here. This is like, this is a logo. You see how the, there's no background here, whereas like they, these have an entire background. See, this doesn't have a background. These are PNG files that are transparent. And these files you would be able to add to this document that you have here. So if you wanted to add, let's say, just your logo to this, 
then you could add to it. Yes, you could definitely do that, but you would not be able to edit these files because they're not editable. Editable files would be, um, you could have a Canva editable file. So that's what I do within my business. In my business, I give you the editable links. So when you buy some of my products, so not all of my products are like that, you'll have to take a look to see. Um, but here you'll see it's Canva. It, they'll have the Canva logo here. So when you download these files, when you buy this from me, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a link. You're not gonna get files. You're not gonna get a, a PDF. You're not gonna get a PNG or JPEG. You're gonna get a link. The link is gonna open up in Canva and it's going to be editable files that you'd be able to use. So let's take a look at this. So let's say you purchase these uh, Pinterest pins from me, you would get the file, it would open in Canva like this, and you'd be able to edit each and every one of these. You can move it around. You can edit them to say what you want it to say. So yeah, so with Canva, that would be an editable file. Another editable file would be something like PowerPoint. So with PowerPoint, um, the person can give you rights to just view it, which you wouldn't be able to edit it, or they'd give you the editable file so that you can edit similar to, to Canva. Also, you could do that on Google Slides. Um, Google Slides is really similar to PowerPoint. It would be the same thing. The person can give you just viewing rights where you can just view the document and usually that's just personal rights. So you can view the document and then you could you know, print it out for yourself. Um, or you can um, edit the files, which means that um, it could still be personal rights or it could be commercial rights. Um, commercial rights meaning that you could sell the product uh, to your audience. So per personal rights, commercial rights, um, private label rights, there's a lot of names for it, but I guess the rights in general are pretty important and you want, that's something that you wanna take a look at because you wanna know pretty much how you're able to use these files. So you can't just buy a file from somebody and then put your logo on there and sell it or give it away to your audience. You would have to look to see if you're like legally able to do that. If you're not, then I mean, you could face some legal trouble you know, with that designer. And that's not something that you wanna do. So you wanna make sure that you take a look to see what you can do with these files. So for instance, with mines, a lot of mines are personal use, which means that you can use this for yourself personally. So for instance, if you buy this social media bundle of uh, Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest templates, I'm gonna give you the Canva template which means that you can edit these files to say whatever you want, to add your logo, add your website. You can use this for your own personal social media, but you would not be able to edit these templates and then turn around and sell them to you know, your customers, or you wouldn't be able to edit these templates and then give them away to your customers. That's not something that you'd be able to do. Now, I do have a... Um, a membership, a busy quote membership. Well, actually, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it as a membership, but you pay once. It's just a one time price. So you can go to my website at build your best year and go to busy quote membership. Um, and pretty much there, what you're able to do is say if you're a VA virtual assistant or you're a social media manager, you would be able to use my quotes. It's just quotes. So quotes like this. And I try and keep them bare. I do have some design quotes as well, but uh, you would be able to use these for yourself or you can use them for your clients. Um, if you're a social media manager, you can use them for your clients, but you would have to use them. You wouldn't be able to give that person access to these templates for them to use. You also wouldn't be able to turn around and sell them um, to your clients um, just one off. Like they have to be a part of like your social media package or your virtual assistant package if you're like a social media manager. Um, but you, in, in that case, you would be able to use them with your clients. But I don't offer that same, um, those same rights for my Etsy shop. Um, 
let me see what else. So here, okay, so this is a short report slash ebook. This is a Canva template. So when you receive this, you're gonna get a link to Canva. You'll be able to open it up in Canva and you'll be able to edit this. So this right here, you would be able to give this to your customers and use this as your own um, because this is an ebook template. You can sell it. Um, you would have to you would have to change the contents in order to sell it. You can't just buy this and then sell this. You can add your logo and you can sell it. That's something that you can definitely do um, for something like this, a short ebook or like a lead magnet or something like that. That is something that you would be able to do. Um, the let's see what else. Custom templates for my custom. If I make you something custom, then I always give you the Canva file. Um, so like one product that I have on here, this right here, the goal planner. So any of my planners are printables, those you're not able to edit. This is just a PDF and I say that, that's why this doesn't have Canva on there. You're not able to edit this on Canva. Um, so yeah, you'll just wanna take a look. Like these ones don't have the Canva template on it and I probably need to update that um, or the Canva logo on there, or maybe they do, maybe it's just cut off. Uh, but you'll just want to make sure to look it doesn't so you can add these you can edit these in uh, Canva but you just want to make sure to look and read through the description to see what you can do um, most people on Etsy do um, do explain what you can do with it um, in detail um, to make sure that you know what you're getting uh, let's see what else I think that that is it for now. So yes, yeah, so with Canva, you are not able to bring in a PDF file to edit it. Um, and you want to make sure that you know you have rights to that PDF file to you know in order to you know make it your own as well. So if you did something like this with a PDF file that you receive maybe on Etsy you need to make sure that you're able, that you have commercial rights to that. And if you're not sure, you wanna make sure that you reach out to the seller um, to make sure that you're not violating their uh, terms and conditions. 